So, JR Smith. I've always had a little bit of a soft spot for JR in 2K. And the reason for that, back in 2K16, this was one of my favorite cards. And in the past, 2K released this Diamond JR Smith, the glitch version. But it really wasn't too great if I'm keeping it real. But then finally, today, 2K released a Galaxy Opal JR Smith. He's a part of the fan favorite Series 2 set. And if you guys saw my pack opening, I highly recommend you do if you haven't. But yeah, first of all, I do really like the card art and he can run shooting guard and point guard. He's six foot six. And just have a look at these stats, like 97 driving layout, 99 three ball, 97 mid range, 98 driving dunk, 98 ball handling, like great passing. Actually extremely good defense too. Like that interior defense at 86 is crazy good for a guard and also 96 for the perimeter. Insanely good rebounding too, but this is the biggest upgrade. He's super fast. 99 vertical too, 96 lateral quickness. Literally every start in this card is extremely good. He's got 100 driving and flashy dunk tendencies. And also, just look at these grades. Like, they speak for themselves. But finally, he has... 44 Hall of Fame badges. The biggest ones, he has pretty much every single shooting badge. He does come with catch and shoot, volume shooter, floor general, relentless finisher, biggest one being range extender and quick draw though, hot zone hunter, dimer, pick dodger, clamps, dead eye, interceptor, which I love, intimidator, unpluckable, pogo stick, consistent finisher, tight handles, fancy footwork, giant slayer, showtime, slithery finisher, downhill, handles for days, quick first step, just to name a few. Also 18 gold badges and looking at all these gold badges, it's not really a main one that I'd say I wish he had on Hall of Fame because he has all the ones that you need on Hall of Fame. So yeah, that's the little overview of this JR Smith card. In the starters, I am going to be running him at point guard off the bench, probably at shooting guard. But yeah, I'm actually really intrigued to see how this JR goes in this squad to see if he'll actually be staying on my team. So yeah, we are currently 2-0. Hopefully JR can carry us to some wins. Without further ado, let's get into the first game. We've found our first opponent. His team isn't great, but he does have James Worthy, so he definitely knows how to play. Let's see what JR can do. And this is going to be my first game of the morning for 2K. So I don't really know how it's going to go, but it should be interesting. Let's see if D-Rob can win the tip, which he does. Let's kick it back to JR. And what's our man got on the first possession? I was so about to shoot that. That would have been a bad shot. But let's just call the screen and we should be able to take it the opposite direction. JR Smith getting his first dunk. One thing I will say already, he does seem very fast. Great defense there. Like, sure, I might be looking at the small things, but the way he got around that screen, I love it. I'm trying to snatch back three here. Good release. It's in. And my opponent does run no meter, so this could be interesting. Another snatch back three. Can JR make it two in a row? Yes, sir. And yeah, my opponent really isn't missing with that meter off, but JR, he's showing up and he's posterizing Cam Reddish. Oh my word. This dude is like the best shooter I've ever gone against. He does not miss. He doesn't take the greatest of shots. JR Smith, he hasn't green one yet. And that's going to be his first miss. I do feel a little bit delayed right now, which is a little bit annoying, but maybe we can just run this one baseline. JR all the way. Steal here. Whoa, I did not expect that pass. That's not a good shot though. Please finally miss one, which he does. And guess who I see? The man with the speed being JR Smith N1. Wow, this is a good start. And he's got takeover, not missing a free throw. He pulls down his first rebound too. And that was a nice board. I do want to see what he can do with takeover here. Let's try some drill moves. Take it on the baseline. Take it all the way for the dunk. I haven't really considered getting rid of my boy Ben Simmons, but this card is making me think of it because, oh my. Because yes, you guys have seen that correctly. He already has... 20 points. He's not making that one, is he? Okay, finally we miss a shot. Oh my... Okay, maybe a fading three. Is that a good shot? JR... Dude! Look at the defense by my squad too. JR leading the way on the offensive end, but also the defense is absolutely fire. We are definitely on track for 100 points. 25 points with him already. He's low on stam, which is a little annoying. And yeah, we got another stop here. Let's key it up to JR. Is that too deep? Probably not for JR. Smith, okay, it was. I don't know. I do just feel a little bit more delayed than usual just because my releases aren't looking too great right now, but JR's too good. And I know my opponent doesn't really have the best of teams, but the thing you got to remember Remember, he does have James Worthy, so he's definitely a good player at the game. And trust me, this man just greens everything. Right now, he's really not, though. And let's pump fake that one. Get another bucket on the buzzer. We're going to miss. And that's a 31-point quarter to him, though. My word. My rebounds this game have just been beautiful, too. Is this too deep? Yeah, probably. But, you know, JR probably could make it from the low. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. JR Smith, please. Oh, Dean Wade is actually looking really good for my opponent. So maybe that's a little budget card that we can pick up later in the future. On the budget squad, but JR Smith, 
<laughs> he's probably staying on my god squad. I want to get a steal. Let's try and get out there. Good defense. Good defense. Oh my word. He has got a wide open lane. Didn't get there in time. And look at the defense. Look at the recovery. Look at the recover. Oh, that should have been a steal. What? I re read that perfectly. And we weren't able to get it. But it is perfect defense. He gets the rebound. He's not getting that score, though, with Isaac Bonger. And you know what we're getting? We're going to get a score with J.R. Smith in transition. J.R. gets his second rebound, too. Oh, I'm in love with this card. I'm actually in love with an NBA 2K card. You know those people on TLS, the learning show? Like, it's a meme little show where, like, they're in love with their car. I'm in love with Pixels, and it's J.R. Smith. It was love at first sight his body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. Yeah, we got another steal here. He should be low on Stan, but I don't feel it at all. I'm not too sure why I've done this, but I have now put him at shooting guard just to test how it goes. And we're going the hop step this time, kicking it back out. Let's just call the screen and maybe get a jab step to make him go into the screen. And then we'll take it down low. This is tough, but JR can make something happen. Let's make sure the free throws. Don't think I have to show these. Yeah, look at that shooting percentage. Eight of 23 so far. Wait, no, 18 of 23. KG pulls down his first rebound. I see a man trailing and I press the wrong button because I thought he was my point guard. And would you look at that? Already, we've forced a rage quit. So luckily, we saw those stats before of him shooting 18 of 23. So we know he shot very well. And we still had plenty of time left in the first half. And this was how many points he got. I'm pretty sure he had 50. I can't really remember. But that was probably the most insane game, insane half I've ever had with a player. So as of right now, there's no doubt in the world that this JR Smith is staying on my squad. As the team just played absolutely insane and... That was one of the best gameplays for sure. But that's definitely not enough gameplay. We are 3-0 right now. Let's see what JR can do in the second game where hopefully we can pop off again. Without further ado, let's get into it. And already we have found our second opponent. He has a very good team. He's got, 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 blah, 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 blah. He's got Glenn Rice. This should be interesting. Gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of my opponent's court right now just because I'm not a fan of dark courts. But... I guess this one's okay because at least it's kind of clean rather than having everything around the whole place. But pump faking that one. Key it back out to JR. His first shot is a green. Give me that. JR gets his first steal in this game. Maybe the hop step on D Rose going up tough and he gets his own rebound. Oh, he can do everything. This dude runs the meter at his feet. You do not see that very often. And you know what? JR is going to show you up by getting that done. Give me that. Yeah, we get another steal with JR this time. I was going to throw up the lob, but we don't really have the best opportunity. You know, we do have an opportunity a little bit. Let's not do that. All I got to say, my opponent is struggling to score on me right now. I tried to get that steal. That's a good shot with Carl Anthony Towns, and he is going to hit it. So in this game, I think I've noticed. I'm not going to be able to score every single point with JR. Although he is a monster, we can just hold square here. He'll score for us. Steal here. You ready? Oh, what? That's a terrible shot. Okay. He makes a 32% contested with T-Mac. I'll show you who's the better guard. JR, swish baby, because he's greening that one. See, because he thought I was going to do a dribble move there, I was going to do a snatch back or something, I just didn't do anything at all, and that's what destroyed him. Yeah, right now the defense is looking... Oh, that's actually a good catch animation. I think it's a two, yeah. I really want to see if we can make a logo three. It would be crazy, but we're just getting these dunks. My opponent has every single player of the month, and uh, yeah, JR is a one-man show right now. Give me that. Oh, what? That should have been a steal. Okay, okay, okay. All right, James Worthy. All righty. We get the block. Good work. And we pick the ball up. You know who I see trailing? J.R. Smith. Kick it to him. Oh, my. He does everything. Bucket, number one. And free throw, number two. Obviously, it's in. Terrible release, though. And it's now the start of the second half. I did take him off for a little bit of a break, so he should have pretty much full energy to be able to do that. All right, D-Rob, try and drag in that Carl Anthony Towns. Kick it back to him, then back. Oh my, I'm taking the worst shots. And yeah, there's a huge reason why I'm now down in this game. You guys can probably tell I have not been shooting well, not been taking good shots, but JR has a quick release and he's able to make that one. All right, from now, I'm just going to take the open shots with him. Don't even, okay, he was actually wide open there, but I pressed the wrong icon because I do have him at shooting guard, not small forward, no, not point guard, which I usually run him at. And that was just terrible. I need to try and get a steal here. He's obviously going to kick it to Worthy rather than Wilt. And that was actually magic. I had read that wrong. But we do pull down the rebound. We've got the LeBron 2JR connection. Let's pump fake to get him to stop the feet. And we're going to miss. But we get the rebound, thankfully. Kicking it back out to him here. Taking it all the way. JR 
Yeah, he sucks when he's tired. I can tell you that much. How in the world am I losing? Catch and shoot. That's what we need to do more. Yeah, okay. I need to focus up. I just need to play normally. JR is cold because I've just been playing everything through him. We need the team to pull up. JR here. Hop step and going up. Lay up. JR, here you go, baby. Take a baseline. Take that shot. That's a good moving one. And we need to do more of that. And yeah, I can't lie. I'm probably going to lose this game right now because I'm playing so badly. But luckily, we do have JR on the floor. And that's not a good shot. But he is going to take it all the way and get an end one. You got to love. It. Now, this is the weirdest excuse you guys will ever hear, but I suck on black courts. Like, I don't know what it is. I swear it's just the lighting, obviously, but still. Okay, we get a steal here. I see JR. J. R. Smith from deep. That is a huge three. And we're only down by three now. So all we need is just a three to tie this game up. That's a good snatch back bet. I'm going to take this one all the way. Okay, JR pulls down a rebound. I see my boy D Wade, but you know who I see? I suck. Why do I do this? And he's dribbling out the clock. Low key, not even mad. I am now though. I've literally lost this game. I can't believe it. Okay. Anyway, two of these players have takeover. Both sharpshooting. Not the greatest for us. Not the greatest if we wanted to win this game. But I guess it doesn't really matter because, you know, uh, it's it's 2K and I've gone 12-0 and, and I can't believe I lost. But... JR had a good one. So when we have a look at the stats, JR, I mean, he did okay. 13 minutes, 38 points, two rebounds, two steals, two turnovers. Unfortunately, we shot under 50%, but I just played so badly. And I know it's a terrible excuse, but I swear it has something to do with the black court. I'll say one more thing. I think it's because I have these lights up here and this is super bright. When I look down, it's super dark. It just throws me off. But anyway, another way of me saying this is I'm terrible at the game. <laughs> but JR definitely put in the work. So um, yeah, we're three and one, but I was still super impressed with this JL Smith. I don't really care about losing. I just wanted to see what this man could do and he was very good. So he's currently going for a lot of MT. I feel like he'll probably sit at around 350k. And the question is, do I recommend him for that much? I'm going to say yes. I'm literally just going to say yes. In my opinion, already by using him, he's better than this Kobe Bryant, which is unfortunate, but he just has insane animations. Also, he's pretty tall, feels big at the point guard position and has a very good shot. So yeah, that's my opinion on this JR Smith. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did, as your support has been absolutely crazy. If we can get one thing, 1,500 likes on this gameplay because I brought it out as soon as possible and I'd appreciate it a lot but that's pretty much all I have to say thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye